Hello guys, hello guys, how are you all doing? And I'm okay and I got this question yesterday. I was meant to make this video yesterday but I didn't get a chance to. So this is a question from Hussein. So he's saying a basic question. <laughs> uh, he needed some clarity. So he's saying how do you correctly identify a swing? Well, I answered this question with a comment but I think... Uh, it is a it's, it's it's a very good question that if I make a video it's going to help with others so make sure that you you know you just stick around and if you're new make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss the new content we'll be showing you you know all these tips and and concepts of uh, price action how to read the structure all right so I'm going to answer this question and then tell you what to look for when you're identifying these areas whether it's a, it's, a, it's a how do you tell that it's a swing and then later we'll go on to the light to the chart and then we try and identify this and try and differentiate them okay so one thing that i can tell you is that sometimes you get a, a situation where you are just you know you're just not sure you'll be like is this a swing or is this a a pause remember when you're talking about a swing and a pause uh, if you haven't watched the the video about the market um the, the 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 how do you identify a support and resistance how do you draw them so this is a swing when the price is moving this is a swing and then when it's going down it can make a value like that you see so the guy is, is asking me he's basically asking me how do you identify that this is a swing because sometimes you can find that here in between the price can pause can have like a pause and then go down how do you identify and say this is not a swing it's a it's a pause but there are those pauses sometimes they can be very confusing and you will find yourself not knowing whether to classify this as a pause or as a swing right so now someone can ask like how does that really matter when i'm trading does it really matter whether i identify something as a pause or as a swing and i will tell you yes i'll answer it's yes yes it, it, it's important why because when you are trading you need to be able to read the structure and remember a swing uh, a swing and a, and a, and a, a swing and a pause the way they are both areas of support areas of resistance but there's something that distinguishes them remember we as always you know I will try and 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 and, and, and you know revive these things because remember I mentioned them over and over again so remember when we have uh, let's say we're in an uptrend we are marking our areas of support right the area of support the standard one is here when you're moving up is here this is support this is support right but that's not the only area where you can have area of support sometimes you can find area of support here in between even though you don't have the valley the obvious move right so this is the second type of support that you can have which is what the one that we call the market pause the market pause so you'll find the market going up and then maybe it gives you a bearish candlestick and then it goes up so it's more like it just paused then went up it didn't have like a pullback like this this is a normal one but if you just pause and then go up that's another support which is the market uh, the market pause you see so now how is that gonna help me if i know how, I mean, how is identifying uh, this and pause and that? Let's say this is the move that we have. This is a, uh, they are both support zones. They are both support, support. So this one is a market pause. This one is a swing or the valley because it's at the bottom. It's at the valley like that. So now the question is, Yes, both of them, they are areas of support. But what's the difference between the two? What is it that I need to know uh, between the two so that I know that, oh, when I have this one, then it means I should be thinking of one, two, three. Or when I have this one, what is it that I should be thinking of doing, right? Uh, we need to refer back to the concept of the video that I made. If you haven't watched it, make sure. So that's why if you're new here, I always suggest that you, you you go back and watch the videos in the very same sequence that I posted them. So there's a video the, the way I was um, defining the trend. Oh yeah, I think if you search the trend or the market structure in in, in, in the videos that I posted, you'll find it. So we are showing you what how do you tell that we are going up, or how do you tell that you're in consolidation, and how do you tell that you're in a downtrend. So 
this question to answer this question correctly you will need to be able to identify the trend right so if let's say we conclude that this thing is moving up this thing is in an uptrend whatever that you are checking it's in an uptrend so that's when you bring you'll be bringing in the the, the, the the characteristics of an uptrend saying that we have higher highs and higher low and we have bullish trend line and we are forming new areas of support and we are breaking old resistance right so the key thing here is this is this right so if we're going up and then we pause and then we go up and then we come down and then we do this so which ones uh they fall under the characteristic of an uptrend this one this one or this one right so remember this higher high the high end of this one was probably higher than the, the, the previous one so these guys they are part of the, the the characteristics of an uptrend a pause does not does not mean when you're having a market pause it won't tell us whether we're going up or we're going down but when we're seeing the higher highs and the higher lows at least we know we're going up so therefore because the higher highs they are part of an uptrend it means the higher highs are the only ones that we can use to draw our trend line you're not gonna put your trend line here you're not gonna draw your trend line like this that's what i mean you're not gonna draw your trend line like this because this is a pause and a pause is not one of characteristics of an uptrend so that's why when you're drawing your trend line it has to come from the high to the high you see but yes this is an area of support if the price comes back here, we can take a buy. So what you need to understand is the difference between a swing and a pause is that the pause we use it to, uh, to draw our trend lines. We can take trades from it. But a, a, I mean, no, no, I mean a swing, a swing. This is what we use to draw a trend line. But a pause is an area of support or an area of resistance. We can put our take profits there. We can exit there if the price... Uh, breaks it we can even say the trend is changing using that but we can't use it to draw the trend line so that's the, the key thing there when drawing the trend line you can use you can use a, a pause you can use a pause so that's the very key difference between the two it's very key different but we can we can take trades from a pause we can take trades from a pause you see so i'll go to the, to the chart and identify a nice uh, market pause and a nice swing and then we show you where to put your trend line because of what that's where it belongs we only use the swings because they are part of of our they are one of our characteristics of a trend so the pause doesn't tell us anything about a trend that's why when you're putting a trend line remember this is a trend line so a pause doesn't tell us anything about the trend but a swing it does tell us about a trend so which means when you're drawing a trend line we have to use a swing or a valley you see but the the, the thing the pause is part of it's a, it's a it's a it's a it's an area of support or it's an area of resistance if everything the trend line is holding we're more than welcome to take trades from it and if it gets broken we're more than welcome to say the structure of bullish has been broken we are no longer going up we are more than welcome to do that but the only thing that you need to keep in mind is that when you're drawing your trend line you don't involve it all right let's go to the chart and then now i'll show you how to, how to identify this pause and how to identify the swing so i did them in the video that i was referring you to the video of uh, the market structure or the trend I think that was the caption so make sure that you watch it if you haven't watched it so that you will understand so let's jump onto the chart and then i'll show you how to do these things and how to put an accurate trend line all right we're going to use the the us 30 to demonstrate that all right so remember the two types of uh, zones that you can have uh, whether it's your support or resistance both of them they can be at the peak or the value or they can be here or there but again they can also be at the market pause both of them that's one thing that you need to keep in mind so now let's try and identify a swing and let's try and identify a market pause all right so when the price was going up this is the lowest point on this screen i'm not saying if you scroll back you won't have price lower than that on this one so on the screen that we're having here this is the lowest point we went there 
we came back here we went there we came back here and keep in mind we came back here which is what higher than the previous one right so you agree this is higher than that right so that's why you had to add it but this guy is not higher than that so which means hmm, could the structure be changing uh, because we're not making higher highs anymore and then we made another low which is around the same level and then we went up and made a new high and then we went that we went that we went that right so you can see that during that time we were definitely in an uptrend because of what we even broke the bearish trend line we even broke the resistance so we are now we were in an uptrend right so now it gets to a point where we have to put an uh, uptrend trend line or a bullish trend line so this is where you go this is a you can look at this as one thing because of what they are around the same level and this didn't make a new high so you can look at it as one point this one or even if you just look at it and say like this but these are on the same level so it's fine let's just make it one let's just make it one right and you agree that when we were going up the market was very smooth it was very smooth until this point until we had this guy this guy there it was not remember when i'm saying the market was smooth i'm talking in terms of saying that when the price was here the bulls were dominant like dominant because you can see the candlestick they're making they're very strong they mean business but when it got to this point the bears did push them down so there it was not it was not it was not um in the bulls uh, entirely in the bulls hands so that's why i can say there was a pause there there's a pause there so that's a, that's how a market pause looks like or if we can look for another one uh yes something like this you can see we are coming back and then we just pause and then we go down we did not do this we did not do that we just paused and then continued right so now it means when you're drawing your trend line you just need the recent two lows so which means is this guy here we are using him because of what he went above that and this guy here he also broke the previous one so it means our bullish trend line was here when you're going up our bullish trend line was there just look at how we are not involved in this guy when you're doing the trend line why because this guy is just a pause so i can't i can't put my trend line like this i can't so the reason why we are not involved in the thing the 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 the, the pause again because remember i mean the, the main reason is that they are not one of the characteristics of a trend right and again if you are making your trend line to be too sharp or the slope to be sharp like that you are going to get a false breakouts the price will be doing this and then it's playing here you'll be saying it's a breakout and it's not so but if you are giving the price enough room to breathe remember initially the trend line was here because we didn't have another swing and then when we had a new new swing it means what this guy must be part of the trend line this guy because he may gave us a high high so if this guy is part of the trend line where is the next one is this guy so which means the trend line now shifted to that that's how you shift your you update your trend line as the price uh, is moving and making new highs and making new lows so but sometimes you will find that it can be tricky and you're not sure whether this is a swing or what so they are advise you to leave it so if you're not sure you can leave it focus on something else and wait for something that is uh it's you are 100 percent sure that is a swing so because not remember not everything is going to be exactly by the book uh, sometimes you'll be like oh is this a swing or is this a, a pause so that's why you just have to make up your mind and, and 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 like things like this things like this you can see it looks like it's it's going sideways but at the same time it looks like this everyone so it's sometimes you have to make up your decision if you're saying it's a swing then that's fine but there are those ones that are obvious things like this you can't say this is a swing you see there are those ones that will be like is this a swing or is this a pause but now we say if you are in doubt stay out of it wait for a nice swing where you can update your trend line so if you are in doubt don't trade it don't involve it just leave it like that everyone but i hope now you are you you are you 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 are you are able to see how to to tell uh, the difference or how to identify a swing so a swing rather wait for something that is obvious this something like this wait for that 
So, because if you're trying to involve something that looks like this, it looks like a swing, but at the same time, it looks like a pause. You're going to lose money there. So, we don't want that. If you're in doubt, you just leave it. And the key thing that you need to take out of this video is that it is important, the, the importance of knowing the difference between a swing and a pause. Because there it's going to catch up with you when you're drawing your turn lines. So that you don't use the wrong points when you're drawing your turn line. So if you know that uh, a pause is not a characteristic of a trend, which means I can use it to draw a trend line, then you're good to go. So if you check this guy here, it's just the same structure as what we are having on Nasdaq. But I'm not going to analyze it. That was not the, you know, the, 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 the reason why I made this video. So you can analyze it on your own. Here, yeah, I just wanted to show you answering that guy that said uh, the question was, was basic. But uh, as basic as it was, we could add more information and make it more useful and, 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 and insightful so that people, some of this information you didn't know. So I'm going to leave it like that, guys, and then I'll see you in the next one. Please do not forget to give us a like and also to subscribe. And then I'll get, see you guys later. Maybe I get another video. But for now, shab shab.